Welcome back everyone, Nate Maria. In today's video I want to share the importance of making sure that you actually that you actually use excess energy from your solar panels. My setup, just a quick brief, cables come through through the, through the red and white cables. Set of them goes to this charge controller, goes down to the battery bank. 105 amp deep cycle battery. This air carton does a good job of making sure that dust doesn't go into those tiny little holes. There you go. And the panel that comes with this charge controller is a 50 amp, I mean 30 watt solar panel at 12 volts. And this panel is aimed towards the east. The sun normally makes its appearance for the day and the 50 watt panel hooked up to this 20 amp charge controller. Now mind you both charge controllers are capable of voltage setups for 12 or 24 volt. Currently now this panel is the only one doing the work. Uh, the power coming out from the battery shows us that there's no power being used. So this lets me know two things are happening. This panel is idle and this one is doing the only work. I don't like that. So quickly turn on the audio. Now this is set at uh, 11, I mean 17. And it blasts the sound over a 10 watt speaker down the hallway. Okay, it came down a bit. It's not enough. Okay, we have the USB fan doing its thing. Shout out to my fan. <laughs> uh, a homemade DIY power bank. Needs a stab. I'm sure you can see that lightning thing doing its thing. And uh, 1.3. Let's see if I can squeeze out any more uh, energy out of that panel. I don't want it to sit around lazily. Okay, 90, ooh, nice, let's see how much power that is now, okay, let's hold on, I think what I need to do is, is have the card tape turned off, USB station turned off, and let's take a reading of how much power is flowing from the panel coming from the east. Okay, we can see on the out, the out uh, output, zero amps, meaning no power. So let's record that. So it's settling around idle, 20.2 multiplied by 05, 10 watts. Okay, now let's turn on the USB station. This power bank is capable of ac accepting 5 volt at 2 amps. It's 3 amps exactly uh, because this tablet is now also turned on. There we go. And my homemade DIY power bank. I'm sure you can see that flashing LED right about the uh, letter L. Okay, now it reads 15.2. Let's clear the stage, I mean the screen, 15.2, this is when the 30 watt panel is under load, multiplied by 1.5, 22.8, now this is watts, watts, okay, what now? Uh, so it's 22.8 minus 10 point. So 12.7 is now actually what would have gone to waste if I didn't employ the two power banks, the tablet, the USB fan, my mom's speaker. But this guy is around 60%. I already checked out it. Rarely sees any action. So what does this 12 watt mean exactly? Um, I'm sure you're familiar with the iPhones, that uh, the white charging block. If you check out those fine prints, you'll see that it's 5 volt 
at one amp which gives you about five which gives you about five watts sorry about my messy handwriting five watts now the, now the power that's actually now coming in from that uh, 30 watt panel is enough to charge the I believe the original iPhone was like the three or the four any one of those iPhones from the four all the way up to the latest one at five watts for two hours if that doesn't put a smile on your dial I don't know what will so the moral of the story of this video I will show you what the solar setup looks like on the outside so the power currently being drawn is 2.3 coming from the 50 watt panels 1.9 and 1.4 so I think uh, it's a bit more coming in that's going out yeah I'm sure you can do the math on that let me take you outside and show you what the scene is outside hey Google what's up huh taking a nap yeah must be tired of keeping an eye on me trying to make this video. Is that right, Google? Huh? Mm. So there you go. It's around two o'clock Central African time. Uh, let me get the letter so you guys can see those panels better. So, 30 watt panel towards the east. And the sun is far, far from ideal situations. So the east and the 50 watt panel is towards the west. So even at this angle, we still managed to squeeze out 20 something, I mean 12-ish 12, 12 watts of power. So the, yeah, wait a minute, what is that? Ah, uh, snap, it's bird droppings. I have to clean it up afterwards. Thank you for watching till the end. See you guys in the next one.